Ah, uh, the sun. I feel like I haven't seen it in years. My God. Well, I, I mean, I can't see it, but I know it's there. It's there somewhere. Take some ghost eyes. And that green stuff, I'm not liking that. I'm thinking maybe that that stuff was like the stuff we saw underground. Uh, so if I'm going to see more of those horrors, well, I think that might be out of reach for me as well right now. Yeah, I think the, I think if we cross that bridge, it means death. I don't know where we are. <laughs> I think I think we're at this fort. Maybe that's the bridge to the plague. I think. Um. Hmm. Let's just head south. Let's just head south. Wait. A wait. 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 Wait a second. Oh shit! I've just realized. We came out on the other side of Ghost Pass. We can't. <laughs> we have to go all the way back through. Uh, well, maybe we sleep a little bit, get our health back, and then and then just take a little gander in there, since we're already here, and it'll take a while to go back. I mean, if if need be, we can bomb them, right? If need be, we can resort to bombs. So, we'll camp out. Get some health back. And then check out my nightmares. And we're back to full health. Ready to de delve into the hell. I'm thinking maybe, actually, we're just gonna get decay or some shit. If we keep going here. Yeah. Okay, let's see what that is. Corrupted fumes. Your corruption level increases. Okay. Well, it was nice while it lasted. It was a nice thought in my head. But now I'm not thinking so. Maybe that's... Maybe that's out of range of the fumes. Maybe I can go around them. Yes, yes. My brain works on another level. Maybe IEDs would be the right... Oh. Do you see that? Am I hallucinating? Well, I'm glad I didn't go into the fumes. We can at least check out what's on the outskirts, if anything. Oh, look at this. A, a great wall. Some kind of great wall that's intermittently connected with each other. Not not fully, just sort of. <laughs> just big gaps where people can walk through. But hey, it's it's there in spirit. <laughs> That's a brain. That looks like a brain. Why is, I think it's like missing a texture. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be as black as the void. Oh. There's something out there. More ruins. Can we climb that? That looks like a ladder we can use. Shall we see what awaits us at the top of this hermit's house? We need to be on guard. Hermits are bastards. Every one of them. You never know when he's just going to start jerking off in front of you. They're all, they're all monsters. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on. Bill? Wait, no, I'm Bill. Who are you? <laughs> Adel Adelbert the Hermit. <laughs> Excellent. A visitor. 
The Cabal shares its wisdoms with those who respect the five winds. Reason, passion, fury, kindness, and the inside wind. What the hell is the inside wind? Listen to me. To use the spells I teach, find the wind totems in every region. Then you may use these spells in that region. The totems are topped by a bird statue. You'll recognize them. Oh, so you're a hidden, you're a hidden master. I see. Incredible. Conjure my resources. What is that? Spell which does nothing on its own. Well, that's great. I'm glad I can learn that. Uh, but can be combined with other abilities. Hmm. Infuse wind. Required activated wind altar. Increases the impact and attack speed of your melee weapon for three minutes. Wow, that's... That's pretty good. But how quick is it? Your stamina burn increases more quickly, however. Create a magic circle on the ground. Certain skills have additional effects when cast within this circle. Reveal soul. Mana push. Well, I believe you are too expensive for my taste, sir. I think maybe we'll just rob you and leave. Wait, there's... There's two people here. Agatha, Maiden of the Winds. How are you? Wow, you're loud. Oh. Maybe we can buy something good here. Spirit of Sierzo. Sealed instructions for how to create a specific enchantment. Enchantments, a lexicon. Master Staff. A thousand gold. Wow. I mean, a thousand silver. Hmm. Okay, well... Uh, that's great. I'm gonna sell you some stuff. And then leave. Because you're too... You're too greedy. So we've got 600 silver exactly. On the dot. Explore lantern. Shines brightly. Oh, so it's gonna light up a lot more area. Well, that'll come in handy in caves and whatnot. Possessed potions? My, thank you for just leaving useful items for me to pick up and not saying anything when I do. In fact, I'm going to sell them back to you. <laughs> this was yours. But now you're going to pay me to keep it. Oh. Just a casual trader, maybe? Looks like a trader hut. Yes, just a random... Just a random caravaneer that's stationed by this hermit. In the middle of nowhere. Greetings, friend. Right. Well, what do you have for me? Adventurer stuff. Frozen Chakram. Inflicts vulnerability to all non-physical elements on an enemy. Wow, that's 2,000 silver. Yeah, okay, so you got some stuff. Uh, nothing, nothing great. See you later, moron. Maybe you'd get more business if you posted somewhere better. What the hell is that? The Mason's... The Mansion's Cellar. Descending into the Abyss again. Seems like a favorite pastime. I do it so often. It's pretty dank in here. It's pretty dank and dark in here. Oh, God. Well, um... Uh, better luck next time. We can't damage that guy. Ah, oh, but there was stuff down in there, but it... Ah, shit. Good. I'm gonna drop our bag and see if we can just book it to the chest. I think I saw one in there. They move pretty quick, though. So, we've got to be quick. Oh. <laughs> oh. There is a chest. Give me the wine. Maybe if I can... Wine. 
Maybe if, we, maybe if I can get him all the way over here. Oh, there's stuff up there. Maybe maybe stuff I can use. But if not, I've just I've just foiled myself. Shit. Whatever. We can probably just hit take all on it, right? Oh, it's really dark back here. Come on. Take all. Let's get the fuck. Oh, I'm overweight. There's a, there was a lever over there. We got to go back. I want to see what that lever does. Those dumbass ghosts. An iron claymore. Well, that's kind of... That's not as good as I was expecting. We did get some mist potions. Some wine, jerky, and needle tea. Well, we'll take... We'll take one of those, and we'll take a look at the claymore. Huh. Yeah. It's not really my speed. I'm more of the attack from as far away as possible type. They don't know I'm here yet. What's that? Oh, that's the lever. Oh, shit. They're here. What does this do? Oh, the secret room. With the... Uh, with the ornate chest in it. All right. We're going to do the loop around again. All right. See you, morons. Oh, it's really dark. I, I can't see it, and that cost me time. Oh, we're gonna be heavy. <gasps> we can't move. Okay, we can move. We'll take one at a time. Oh, my God! If they were if they were just a little bit quicker, they probably could have got me. Morons. What were those, though? I didn't even get a good look at them. They were like or ornamental axes or something. A brutal great axe. My god! That's... Well, that's like... It's probably good damage, but... Where's the range, man? And a golem elixir. Powerful concoction that temporarily increases your weapon's impact and gives you the possessed and discipline boons. Well, that, that sounds pretty good, man. Even if we don't use the Great Axes, which I don't think we will, we can sell them. And that's the important thing. So, we're, yeah, we're at the Cabal of the Wind Tower. That is definitely where we are. So we're going to head back through Ghost Pass. Uh, I guess that's this. Yeah. And then... Check out... There was like a fort here. At Conflux Mountain. And then a bandit camp. And then I guess we're done. Besides the vigil pylon. And the ancient ruins and the vent... Okay, there's a lot here actually. We've, we've still got about half to go. Oh, more plague. Oh, that's not good. Um. Oh, fuck. You little shit. Oh. Uh, whatever this is, is new. That's kind of foreboding. I don't even think we can go in there at all. Yeah, I think that's I think that's off limits to us. It's got the plague written all over it. I don't think there's a way around like the other place. Oh, the shipwreck! I was told about that by my buddy that was up in Sierzo many many moons ago. <laughs> oh, I can actually see it on the map. Okay, so that's where we are. He told me he hit a stash around here with some goodies for me. He said I could have them. 
Okay, so it should be around here somewhere. That stash that he mentioned. Do you hear those whispers in my ear? Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Is that? I think it's coming from there. The crystal. <laughs> oh my god, I'm glad we didn't go in there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's this? What happened? Why is it electrocuted? Is this the stash? No. Can't be. Too little. In there. It might be around here, though. In fact, I'm liking these pillars. I'm thinking these pillars are what... Oh. Um. There's a... An electric sun. Right there. <laughs> I'm... I'm kind of scared. Maybe we just... Hit, one, hit it with one of those. Okay. Well, it seems friendly. So... <laughs> I think we'll just go up here. Yeah, that's that's really I don't I don't think I want to go in there. I'm not sure I want to go in this cave. Voltaic hatchery. Oh my god. Do you know what's in there? It's those it's those shrimp. It's the electric shrimp. There's millions of them in here. This is where they breed. Oh my god. Let me get my armor, and we'll go eradicate them. Oh my god. Do you hear that? Do you hear that in the, in the walls? They're in the walls, man. Do you see this pile of bones here? I think maybe this is a, this is a warning sign. <laughs> go no further. Lots of troglodytes and humans. I'm thinking that maybe uh, this means we're going to face something stronger than troglodytes. It's all right. I expected as much. Two on one, it, not possible. One on one, it's possible. Can we mine this? No. What the fuck is that? Oh my god. I was expecting shrimp. <laughs> I, I'm not so sure about this one, chief. Also, look at that thing on the ceiling. I don't like any of this. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> There's two. There's two on one. I'm not confident in one on one on the, against that thing. I think... This is not a place for me. Let's look for that stash. He didn't say in the shipwreck. He said around. Oh, I guess I can fish here. I can. You need a fishing harpoon. Yeah, I, I found one of those earlier, but I didn't pick it up. It was too heavy. Argenson's stash. Was that the guy's name? I don't... I don't remember that being his name. This must be the stash that Yazan told told you about. With a careful look, you find the hidden compartment containing the goods. A metal panel is hidden beneath the wood. Five elements surface under the under close scrutiny. A skull with two stars embedded in its eyes. The sun, a fish, and the red moon. The moon guides this it was it the, was it the moon guides the stars um okay the or was it the moon leads the stars because that would mean the moon comes first stars embedded in its eyes all right the moon it is the moon clicks firmly into place push the stars the stars Moves slowly in the rusty mechanism, then finally gives way, revealing a secret drawer. 
The stash consists of a purse full of coins, a dagger, and a bottle. Nice. This stuff is coming with me. Hey, uh, that's some nice coins. Rondell dagger. 22. Well, it's no spear, is it? We'll, we'll take a look at it. Oh, I'm wielding it kind of strangely. Is my, how, how overweight am I? Oh, I can't even... Which hand is it in? I can... Dagger with a nasty edge. This offhand weapon requires dagger skills to be used. Oh. Okay. So we need another dagger. Or a one-handed weapon or something. Well, it'll sell good. So, there's that. Well, that was... I mean, that was an okay stash, I guess. Maybe we uh, go to Conflux Mountain now? That's what I'm thinking. Hmm. It looks like if we want to get on top of Conflux Mountain, we need to first go through the bandit camp. So. Wait. Is this right? No, that... How do we get up on this ridge? I th okay, yeah, this is where the bridge is, I think. We've got to get up pretty high. Well, let's kill these bandits then. We can get a nice bird's eye view of the place before we raid it. Alright. So there's two guys there patrolling. Two guys there. One guy there, so that's three. I'm assuming there's going to be one in these tents or something. Okay, let's move around. Yeah, there's one up there. So that's what, four guys? That's not that many. What about this tower, though? Also, I wonder if I can... I wonder if I can... Can I hit him from here? Oh, man. <laughs> you guys are done for. At the very least, I can just weaken them. You know? Okay, well. Maybe, the, maybe they don't go that far. No, I hit him. Oh, they're coming. They're coming for me now. Oh, shit. Actually, they might be able to get up here. I need to kill as many as I can with the bow. Before they get up here. Oh. Alright. Alright. Time to swap. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Hold on. Hold on, dude. I need my armor on. Ow. I... Okay. Why didn't you dodge? Outrange him. Where'd the other guy go? He's there. I know he's gonna shoot me. Did I get hit there? I think I think he shot me. Yeah, he did, the bastard. Alright. Now that I got my groove going, they don't stand a fucking chance. Shit. Oh shit, gotta conserve stamina. Oh my god. Damn it. Got him. Man, the reach on this spear is so good. All right, let's head on in. That was three of the four I saw. There should be one more over by the gate. Oh, I'm cold, right? I'm being... Thrown at wait. 
No, no, no. There's a fight happening outside the walls. They're throwing bombs. Oh my god. I heard bombs. I know it. Oh. No, no, no. I heard a shrimp. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I think they're all coming together now. I'm guessing the shrimp killed the bandit. There's not much here, is there? For, for bandits, they really uh, don't seem to have done much banditing. Oh, there's a chest. Ooh, steel shield. Steel, common but high quality shield used by warriors of the desert. We are going to be crossing the desert at some point. Concoction that helps with heat and indigestion. It also restores burnt stamina. I don't mind if I do. And more rage. Oh, baby. There we go. Oh my god, I almost stepped on that trap. Those things hurt. I know first firsthand. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god. I think it- I think it sees me. It's kind of freaking out. Oh shit. Let's just go around. See you later, dude. Let's see what's in this tower. The prison. Alright. Alright. No fucking around now. Shit's getting real. Oh man, it's dark in here, huh? We gotta be on the lookout for traps. Oh my god. A mythical creature. <laughs> what the hell are you? Holy shit, that thing's huge! That thing looks vicious. <laughs> I'm really not confident in being able to kill that. I'm not so sure about this one. We may not be gods. But we can play God. Come for me, you son of a bitch. Oh my God, I regret everything. <laughs> my bag. We gotta get my bag and get the fuck out of here. Holy shit. I regret everything. Did you see? Did you see his health go down? Because I didn't. <laughs> oh shit. They were keeping monsters in their prison. Horrible monsters. Maybe if we're lucky, we can we can trap him. Maybe if we're lucky we can trap him back in. <laughs> God, I hope so. Cuz otherwise we're just we're going to have to abandon this place. All right, he's there. All right, we need him to come back in here. Oh, wait. <gasps> Fucking shit. That scared the shit out of me. Run. No. <laughs> God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. I don't even think there's anything good in there. He was really quick, man. The very act of breathing is becoming difficult. Pain racks your body as your consciousness fades. You awake to the sight of a huntress from Sierzo pouring water into your mouth. Leaning on her, you manage to hobble back to Sierzo, more dead than alive. It's just hardship after hardship. First it was the goddamn bandits. Then it was the goddamn snow. And now it's a goddamn horrible monster. Okay, so let's think about this. It's actually going to be quicker if we go down here and do this stuff, right? Then go here and then come back and do this stuff. So let's go this way first. So, we're finally here. We finally made it. To the monument you can see for miles on end. The most notice, notice, notable thing in the Chersonese. Well, it's, uh, it's something. Blue chambers 
Conflux path. Blue chamber. Hmm. All right. Don't mind if I do. Uh oh. I hear walking. Lots of scampering. Oh, there's many. There's many footsteps. Oh, there's a guard there. Hello. Are you friendly? You friendly person? Conflux Mountain Guard. How can I help you? Welcome. This is the path to the Chersonese Ley Line that the Blue Chamber Collective maintains. If you seek the power of magic, make your way through it to the end. And speak to the Watchers at the heart of the mountain. Is it dangerous? <laughs> yes, indeed. The path ahead is a labyrinth, and you may easily find yourself lost. But there are markers to guide you. Those who heed the wisdom of the Blue Chamber's ancestors will have little trouble navigating these halls. There are also a great number of troglodytes that make their home here, many of whom who have swallowed monostones and been transformed into shamans of their kind. Be on your guard. I remember. I've, I've fought some of the shamans before. One of them, anyways. Time to become one with the ley lines. Oh, yeah, okay. Looks like this is the point of no return. Ah, uh, right. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Well, that's, that's kind of horrific. Oh, my God. <laughs> Man. Hmm. Following the ancestors. Right. Yeah, that's that's a little easier said than done. Maybe it's it's this one. Cause it had the blue thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That would appear to be the case. Some guys down there. Quite a voluptuous voluptuous statue we have here. Very nice. Oh, God. I was admiring the scenery. You can't fault, fault me for that. Oh, I accidentally opened steam. Combo move. Oh, my God. We're the best. We did have plenty of stamina. That would, have been, that would not have been possible any other time. Got him. One more. One of the mana troglodytes. Keep him going! Right behind the pillar. He'll never get me. Oh, he's healing. Oh, we're out of stamina. Oh my god. Alright, we need to we need to take a breather here. He's healing so much. Let's just get some stamina back. I hear more behind me. We need to be careful. Actually, we probably need those mushrooms. We're gonna run out of food at some point. Oh yeah, my bag. Okay, it's probably this way. It seems this was the right way to go. Towards the, the large pile of bones. Ah, this would seem to be the room. And that looks to be a rather strong one. Oh, yeah, it is. There's a shaman. Combo move. Oh, we got hit there. Got 
Got him. He didn't even stand a chance. Oh no, that's just an armored troglodyte. Well, that would make sense. Um, uh, the mushroom halberd. <laughs> that's pretty cool. It's no spear though. Palladium vein. Well, a ruby and palladium scrap. Do we sell the palladium? That sounds like quite a good mineral. Maybe if we could get palladium armor, a regular lump of high quality metal used to craft exotic arms and armor. Crafting monster weapons, but hold on. Crafting monster weapons often requires this material as iron is often insufficient. Wow. So that's a that's a high quality piece of metal right there. Well, three armored. What the hell is that thing? You see that? So they glowing down there. Oh boy. Ah, uh, which way? Which way? I think this has palladium. So right here. I don't see anybody. Oh, a knight's corpse. Firestone. Transmutated mana stone using the alchemy kit to merge stone and oil. Astral potion. Instantly. Oh my goodness. Glorious bounties. Okay, this looks like a, a special chest. If I've ever seen a trog chest. Oh. We found another mushroom shield. Well, we can complete that quest now. That's good news. Miner's omelet. Filling omelet that is good way that is a good way to use common mushrooms to cook into a decent dish. Hm. Not bad. Linen and jerky. We should have enough food for a while now. Oh, there's that thing up there. But first, let's gaze upon the ley line. Wow. That is something. All right, what are you? Oh my God. I've contracted a disease. Lay wilt has been contracted. Well, that's great. This thing's not gonna know what hit it. Oh, that's a lot of health. Missed, loser. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Where's my fire arrows? We just gotta keep... Okay, we set it on fire. Let's see. Let's see how long you can last like that, bastard. Let's keep that fire going. Oh yeah, we got him. Well, that's why we kept the bow. Right then. Oh, this is where I killed everything else. Arcane elemental. Some mana stones and an elemental part particle. Ether. Tiny shards of elemental aether. Ooh. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty certain that I'm not supposed to be going this way. <laughs> I think I'm going off route. But alas, it's hard to say for certain. Because this does seem like I'm getting closer to the ley line, doesn't it? And there's normal trogs up ahead. These guys are pretty much worthless. Oh, more fur armor. You know that's worth a lot. Maybe we'll take it and sell it. Bag overweight. We are heavy now, though. Oh. Oh. More goodies. 
and we have yet to even know what's inside the big room. The ley line itself. <clears throat> the most important part. The conflux chambers. My god. It's a bit dark, isn't it? Dead adventurer. He made it this far. Well, good on him for, for effort, you know? you know? Not that it was any trouble for me, but he tried. He gave it his best. Though... It was nothing compared to my efforts. Oh, there's a wizard. At the end, I see him. That goes somewhere. We'll check that out in a minute. Wow. The ley line. Truly a wondrous sight. I can drink the ley line water. Talk to the fifth watcher. Oh my god. Look at him. <laughs> He's been enlightened. Welcome. Bow your head in respect, for you have come to the end of a ley line. The place where the very world itself will pour its power into you, if you make room for it. To open yourself to mana is to open yourself to the flow of our world. To use magic is to command the world to obey your desires. Master magic, and you master the flow that echoes through us all. If you are prepared to sacrifice some of yourself for it, and you are prepared to miss many nights of sleep, we welcome you. May the power of mana lead you on the road to success. Yes. I think I shall. Oh, I get. I just gathered it. Well, I, I think I'll take a few to go. <laughs> mm. Okay. I don't particularly feel different. <laughs> what is this? Mana cost plus forty percent. Barrier plus six recedes naturally over time. Well, you know, I was expecting more. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Take another look around. The third Welcome. watcher. I am a watcher of the ley line. Mana is the energy that throws through all things. With proper preparation, you may use it to force the world to bend to your will by casting spells. Alone, most spells are weak, but when combined or used in the right ritual sequence, their power is made manifest. If you wish to recharge your reserves of mana, having a meal will help. Especially a certain blue vegetable that, honestly, I've gotten a little sick of eating so often. You can also pull mana from lingering souls with the right technique. You can rest to recharge mana, but be warned. Your maximum capacity for mana can only be maintained with rigid focus. If you sleep, it will take time before you will be able to call upon your full reserves of mana again. A sleeping mind loses its connection to the real world, after all. I, interesting. Welcome. I am a watcher of the ley line. Can you teach me magic? To unlock the power of mana, you must first give up some of your mortal vitality to a ley line. A place where our eyes' life flows strong, like this very chamber. If you wish to become a mage, touch the crystal at the center of the chamber. The Holy Mission and the Kingdom of Levant have their own paths to this chamber as well. So if you wish to return here... You could take that their particular path to get back here in a different manner. Hello, second Magic watcher. Magic is the weapon of a patient warrior. I see. 
You must plan your attacks, bring enemies into a fight that is to your advantage. And never forget that spells must be used in the right combination. Okay, that's interesting. So, we'll have to combine spells. Oh, wow. You're certainly something. Perfect. I've always enjoyed coming here. You can really feel the hum of mana as it passes through the mountain. Yes, I see. Ah, the first watcher, probably. I think he's the only one we haven't seen. Yes. So, you have come. I sensed that someone who had the potential for magic was on their way. If you wish to gain magic, you must first give. You must sacrifice health and stamina to the ley line, and in return, what you gave up will be given back to you as mana. Be careful how much of your life and stamina you give up, because you can never get it back. Hmm. The first time you gain mana, you will gain your first spell, the spark. It may seem small and weak, but when combined with other spells or components, it can produce powerful effects. Okay. I'm not keen on becoming a mage in particular. Maybe can we become like a battle mage? Like like a spear a spear mage? Yes, so we just use mana to essentially Compliment ourself. Spark has been learned. Spark, tiny fire explosion that deals negligible damage, but can be used in combination with other spells for greater effects. This spell can light campfires. Well, we didn't really have. Uh, I mean, that's okay. <laughs> Possessed. Grants the Possessed Boon, which increases your Decay Damage and Decay Resistance. Certain skills require this boon to be active. We can finally use our Decay. Yes, I'm Possessed. Decay Damage and Resistance increased by 20%. My god. If we can get Decay Magic, we'll truly be impressive. But I have a feeling the decay magic is only something I might be able to get from, uh, from the plague people. I guess I'm out of here. Now listen to oh. me. Now that mana flows through your veins, I can teach you a new spell to welcome you as a mage. Teach me how to cast a fire spell. Teach me how to reveal souls. Hmm. Fire seems useful. But revealing souls could have untold prophets. Too bad I didn't even ask what they did <laughs> before I just said yes. There it is. Reveal the bluish soul orb left by deceased thieves and adventurers. Certain spells must be cast in proximity to a soul. A soul. So we can see souls now. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I I guess we can maybe... Maybe we can interrogate the dead? That has potential. Who knows? That's a big old turnip. Feel free to use one of our boats to return to the surface. Excuse me, can you teach me another spell? Is that possible? Welcome... Mage. I would like to train May with you. your talent for magic only grow stronger. If you want a simple spell, I can teach you the flamethrower for the price of 50 silvers. You only need to hold a lantern or a torch, and you'll be ready to use it. 50 silver is pocket change to one such as I. Listen to me. Smart choice. Rather than using spark to detonate the air, try pushing the air inside your lantern. It will unleash a torrent of flames on any who dare cross you. Hey, flamethrower has been added. Now we have a couple of potentially useful spells. Reveal soul has untold potential. I have no idea. 
how that's going to help, but flamethrower. Well, that's what that one's obvious. We can do this. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow. Well, we. <laughs> I don't know how much damage it does, though, right? That's the thing. We gotta test it out on something. Truly not to be trifled with any longer. Can I go back? Just through here? No, I have to go through the path again. I mean, we gotta walk. We gotta walk a great distance. Here. We gotta go all the way back up here if we wanna go sell stuff. Or... Well, I don't know. We'd have to get lucky and find a trader. Or something somewhere. If we're lucky, we can find the trader along the way. I'm not so sure we're gonna be lucky. But actually, we never did look at the entire mountain. We just kind of went into the first door that we saw, right? Maybe there's traders up there. And then after we sell stuff, we're gonna go back down to that camp down there. Where we died. Last time. And, uh, and see if we can... See if we can get some good loot from there. Because we didn't hardly loot anything. Since that horrible monster killed us. But it's here. It's within reach. It's within arm's length. And alas. Here we are. The summit of the world! Holy fuck! No, no, please! I didn't mean it! Oh my god! I didn't mean it! Oh my fucking god! Did you see that? I'm not hallucinating, right? What the fuck was that thing? Jesus Christ. I'm gonna make some space. And I saw a sword up there. We're just gonna run past it. Maybe we should put on our... Our better armor. There was a sword or something sticking out of a rock. It's mine. Consider it mine. It's there. Look at that fucking thing. No way in hell can I take that thing down. But look at this sword. Strange rusted sword. It's mine. You can't have it. You horrible monster. I'm kind of curious though. You know, how, how, how tough is this thing? Oh. Oh, it's, it's rock. It's literally a rock. It's made of stone. Yeah, okay. See you next time, bud. The commander said to make this sword fit for a king. Hmm. Well, it's it's a sword. It's a rusted, rusted sword. Let's take a look at it. Wow. I mean, the just based off the shape, it's pretty awesome. Has potential. Has potential to be awesome. We're keeping it. One day when we have become God, we will come back and and try and kill that monstrosity. That is not today.